This morning's Coffee With is with Nina Tassler. And the satellite interview is furnished by Atria Books, a division of Simon & Schuster, a part of CBS Corporation. Nina, welcome to WJZ. How's it going today? Good morning. It's going great. Thank you, Marty. You know, it, it's great to see you. you put a whole lot of programs on this TV station. Now we're glad to see yes, I did. you here with us. What I told my daughter, lessons from leaders about him, Powering our children. Uh, this is a yes. fascinating book of essays that, fortunately, you were in position to put together. Let's talk about it. Yes. Well, I, I really found over the years, I've met so many extraordinary women, and I was so influenced by hearing their own personal stories. Um, I've never been one to learn from, you know, here's, here, here's step one, step two, step three. I find it so much more informative to learn from other women, to learn from other mothers about advice and stories that they shared with their own daughters. We didn't want this to be a how-to book, but more uh, a very intimate and honest and revealing collection of essays from women women from all over the world, all different walks of life, telling us stories about anecdotes, stories about teachable moments they had with their own daughters. And it was incredibly revealing and so many amazing women contributed. So tell us about one of these that's your personal favorite, one of these anecdotes that's shared in the books. Well, I have to one of my, and I love them all, um, but Madeleine Albright, um, it was, uh, her essay is a little bit of a role reversal. Um, when she was a UN ambassador, she turned over the management of her finances to her daughters. And so her daughters would turn to her and say, you know, mom, do you really need another pair of shoes? Um, so it was, they were in charge of managing the finances. And then when, when Secretary Albright would be traveling to all sorts of, you know, sometimes very dangerous places around the world, um, her daughters would see a headline that says Albright stoned in Serbia and they would call her up and they would read her the riot act like mom you have to tell us where you're going you can't go to these dangerous places so it it was just funny to see how the roles reversed how powerful and successful their mother was but she's still their mother I want to direct this if for a moment to fathers out there uh, fathers yes. uh, either either married fathers or single fathers raising daughters right. we know that's a tremendous yes. uh, amount of this population i have a 25 year old daughter yes. myself and i could see putting this book in her hand but i always told her the following and i'm curious if this is a thread through the book from the time she was little i'd say you can do anything you want to do i remember once we got on a flight we were coming back visiting the grandparents down in boca coming back to baltimore right, right. and the co-pilot right. was a lady and i said you can do anything you want. Right. And I think that's a strong message, that's right. that, a strong but simple message that guys can throw out there. Thoughts? Well, absolutely. Um, that's absolutely the point. But you know, it's also important to keep in mind that um, learning to fail without feeling like a failure is important too. A lot of the messages in the book uh, talk about resilience and grit and drive and determination. I mean, Mia Hamm, who is one of the contributors, talks about failure as a part of the pursuit of excellence. So as a young girl, it's okay to, to fail. It's okay to come up short, but that shouldn't in any way dissuade you from believing that you can do anything so you're you're absolutely right I could see this book becoming a series you know volume two volume three and then maybe a spin-off what I told my son written from the father's That's perspective right. Right, absolutely. Um, I think you know, you 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 to raise an empowered daughter, she has to witness you know a a gender equality in the house. So father and mother, you know, and or or same sex parents, which we also have stories from 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 mothers as well in the book. And I think it's important that daughters witness that gender equality in the home, um, and to see that both men and women can co-parent and be equal partners. I got to tell you, our time has run short. I will tell you this, a uh, perfect color, Tiffany blue. My daughter, the first thing my daughter would do, is she'd go, wow, Tiffany blue, this ain't a bad thing. <laughs> she, she empowered herself a long time ago. That's great. Good for her. Hey, listen. Good for her. Uh, Nina, thanks so much for being with us. Good luck. And it's like Lynn just said, I can, I can, I can yes. see, a, as you would have said in a previous life, I can see a second season of this. You passed <laughs> the interview. Right. You're welcome back next time, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate Nina. it. Talk Take to care. you. Bye bye.